Way to the second floor. The officers that did arrive uh, were hearing shots in the building, and that's what directed them to the second floor. Um, right now, we have uh, that are uh, dead. We have one shooter that is dead, and uh, right now, we believe that is self-inflicted. Officers have not been interviewed, but we're certain that's a self-inflicted gunshot wound on his uh, part. The scene is uh, fairly limited uh, to one section of uh, that floor on the second floor. Uh, and officers are currently, uh, and detectives, interviewing witnesses uh, that were throughout the building and especially those on the second floor. Um, no officers were injured. Um, we have a, reunific excuse me, a reunification center uh, set up at uh, Memorial High School in the auditorium on the north end of Memorial High School for uh, families that may have had somebody in this building at the time and have not been able to make contact. Uh, that is a location they can check in with uh, for information. Um, right now, uh, the suspect, we do not have an identity that uh, we believe we're getting close uh, on the identity of, of uh, the suspect. Uh, he is a black male, uh, estimated to be 35 uh, to 40 years old, uh, and we have confirmed he had one long gun, a rifle, and one handgun uh, on the scene at the time. That's what I have, and I will turn it over to... Can you confirm? Can we confirm? I'll you come said, back for those questions. Okay, thank you. What was yours? Well, you said five people total dead. Yes, four innocents, one shooter. Thank you. Yes. I'm Dr. Cliff Robertson. I'm the CEO of the uh, St. Francis Health System. And as you can imagine, um, we ask, we're an organization that believes in the power of prayer, and there is nothing more this community could do for us than to pray for the families and the loved ones and the victims of this senseless act. I can't stand here and not thank the first responders in this city. I mean, look around us. The, the response has been incredible, and the, I don't know that I, I've truly understood just how important our first responders can be and are every day. Um, there will obviously be many questions, and there will be a very bumpy road, I think, ahead of us, but there are over 10,000 people that are part of the St. Francis Health System that every day commit their lives to taking care of people in need, taking care of everyone in need, and this senseless, horrible, incomprehensible act is not going to change that. Uh, I, I want to start by echoing Dr. Robertson's comments, uh, this campus is sacred ground for our community. For decades, this campus has been a place where people have come to work, heroes have come to work every day to save the lives of people in our community. Just in the last few years, in the greatest public health crisis that our city has ever had to face, this has been the facility more than any other that has worked to save the lives of people in this city. I have been out here to this campus repeatedly as mayor when our first responders have been attacked and when one of them was murdered. And it was the people who worked at this campus who were there for them. So I know because, of, because I know Tulsa I know there are so many people out there right now that want to know what you can do to support the people at St. Francis Health System in the midst of this tragedy. I don't have one thing for you right now. I would ask for you to think about what the St. Francis Health System and the people that work there mean to our community, what they mean to you and your family and your neighbors, the heroes who protect you. Think about what they mean to you and think about in your own way what you can do to show your support for them in the midst of this tragedy. I also want to express our community's profound gratitude for the broad range of first responders who did not hesitate today to respond to this 
act of violence. Men and women of the Tulsa Police Department did not hesitate. And when you look around today, you see. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.